6. Yes, coming up, we're going to meet the... Shops closed this afternoon and hundreds of mourners lined the streets for the funeral of Private James Grigg from the 1st Battalion, the Royal Anglian Regiment. The 21-year-old was killed last month by a roadside bomb while on patrol in the Helmand province. Today, he was laid to rest with full military honours in Stradbrook in Suffolk. Natalie Gray has this report. The military's top brass and what appeared to be the whole of the village of Stradbrook turned out to say goodbye to Private James Grigg, the 21-year-old they call Griggsy. His death has hit this community hard. He grew up here and, until recently, his parents ran one of the local pubs. His best friend, Mark Smith, who also serves with the Anglians, spoke at today's service. I'd done everything from James as a child, right up to growing up to manhood. I just wished I'd served alongside my friend, my brother in some aspects, and uh, he was a hero for all of us, and he's, you know, He's an absolute hero for me. Private Grigg was a passionate cricket player and was the under-11 coach for the village team. A tragically uh, early death for someone who, you know, who, who was a promising soldier, certainly. You know, that was his profession. And a, a lovely young lad and a very keen cricketer and you know, a, a real team in, in everything he did you know, in, in, in life and in cricket. He was, a, he was a team man. More people knew him than didn't, but people in Stradbrook say he was too young to die. He was a young man, yes, uh, as, as soldiers invariably are. Um, he'd made the decision to come and join us in the, in the army, and we're thankful for that. Um, he was someone that we were, we were very proud of, and I know his family were obviously extremely proud of him. He leaves his parents, Michael and Pat, and his sister Victoria. They say James will leave a hole in our hearts. Our